Hello, my name is David Massey, Assistant Professor of Religious Studies and Chaplain here at Linfield University. We want to welcome you to our commencement service for 2021, and I'd like to, to invite you to prepare your hearts and minds for prayer as I offer the invocation. Holy One, guide and inspiration of humanity. We are gathered here in celebration of knowledge, of avenues opened and explored, of survival, of relationships shared, of coming to know ourselves. Celebration of hope and dreams fulfilled and others just discovered. We are gathered to celebrate life with gratitude for your spirit which lives amidst us and calls us to one another and to the world. Today is not merely a time of celebration, but also one of remembrance. We remember days of athletic playoffs, but also sorrows of loss, not just on the playing field, but also in life. For we are mindful of those who struggle locally and globally. May your spirit help our new discoveries and knowledge not become vain toys, but rather wise tools. For indeed, while we have discovered many treasures during our journey here at Linfield, we acknowledge that we are nonetheless earthen vessels who carry such treasures. Spirit of wisdom and justice, empower us to see how we can reach beyond ourselves to share our treasures with all humanity, that our knowledge, skills, and insights might become instruments of health, hope, and reconciliation for all people. Finally, if we are faithful with our treasures, our hope is that the cries of pain from around the world that sound beyond our cheers might in time join us in celebration. Amen. I want to welcome you to today's commencement. It doesn't look like it has in past years, but then again, you are a very different and special, unique class. You have endured so much. And today, we get the opportunity to celebrate you and your accomplishments. We hope that you, your families, friends, and supporters can embrace what we're doing today as we celebrate you. I would like to introduce Dr. Brenda DeVore Marshall. Brenda DeVore Marshall has a Bachelor of Arts from University of Denver in Theater and Music, a Master's of Science from North Texas State University in Theater and Speech Communication, and a PhD from Southern Illinois University at Carbondale in Speech Communication and Theater. Dr. Marshall joined the Linfield faculty in 1987 in the Department of Theater and Communication Arts. Her interests include women's political discourse, diversity and inclusion, protests and political rhetoric, intercultural and co-cultural communication, gender and feminist studies, rhetorical theory and criticism. During her 34-year career at Linfield, she has served as department chair numerous times, directed theatrical productions, coached the forensics team, overseeing the move to a new theater building, served as a project director for launching through the surf the Dory Fleet of Pacific City, and more. At the end of this academic year, sadly, Dr. Marshall will retire, and just last week we bestowed upon her emeritus status. It seemed only fitting that she be invited to give today's commencement address. Please give a good virtual welcome to Dr. Brenda DeVore Marshall. Greetings, Linfield Wildcats, class of 2021. Let that soak in a second. The Linfield class of 2021. Congratulations, you have done it. 
in the midst of a pandemic in which you have endured in-person, remote, hybrid, socially distanced, quarantined, isolated, zoomed, wildfire evacuated, smoke-filled, hands washed, and of course, masked learning, you have forged ahead. At times, you've navigated a trans transition landscape filled with so many curves and potholes that surely you must feel like you've experienced transition or pivot whiplash almost daily. And yet, you have kept moving forward. You have been resilient. And you, members of the class of 2021, the first graduating class of Linfield University, have arrived at this moment of celebration, at this bittersweet moment of new opportunities, of looking back and of visioning forward. Congratulations on all that you have accomplished, and that has been a lot. You have conducted research and engaged in creative projects on your own and with faculty mentors in all areas of the university, from nursing to business, from the sciences and mathematics to wine studies, from the social sciences to the humanities, and from health and human performance to the arts. You have presented your work at regional and national conferences and the Linfield Student Symposium. Many of you have learned new languages. From the athletic fields, courts, pitches, greens, tracks, and pools, to the stage, recital halls, and art galleries, to the speakers' platforms, you have engaged in intercollegiate competitions and public presentations. For the most part, during the last three semesters, you've done these things without the audiences and spectators so important to these communal activities. You've gained critical hands-on experience in clinicals, labs, newsrooms, and internships, as well as public school classrooms. Collectively, you've written thousands of exams, papers, and group project reports. Many of you have spent a January term or a semester studying in another country, experiencing newfound cultural traditions and ways of knowing. You've participated in student government and a variety of clubs. You've helped keep the university running smoothly through your work-study jobs as office assistants, groundkeepers, custodians, resident advisors, and so much more. You have engaged in service to the university and to a variety of organizations in the surrounding communities, including assistance with COVID-19 vaccinations. Some of you have won Linfield, regional, and national recognitions for your work. For almost three semesters, many of you have studied from home, sharing computers and bandwidth with parents, siblings, and or children. Some of you worked full time while parenting and continuing your own education. Some of you faced loss. The loss of you or your family's home to raging fires, a parent's or your own job due to the pandemic. You've grieved the loss of loved ones to COVID-19, other diseases, and violence. You and your families have sacrificed much to make your education possible. And yet, through all of this, you have persevered. I applaud each of you, as well as your parents, partners, siblings, children, and your friends, who have helped you achieve your dream of earning a degree from Linfield University. Whether your work has been concentrated in the College of Arts and Sciences, the online and continuing education program, the School of Business, or the School of Nursing, you are a part of one Linfield. You share a common liberal arts core, the Linfield curriculum, and much more. You have completed, or almost completed, your degree requirements, including, of course, those Linfield curriculum exemplars. Now it's time to celebrate. Commencement is a rite of passage, a time of transitions and opportunities. Let's take a few minutes to explore some of the ideas embedded in those two concepts. We'll begin with transitions. As it turns out, transition is a very busy word. 
It can be used as both a noun and a verb, and it finds its way into the vocabulary of multiple fields. For our purposes on this occasion, we turn to Webster's Dictionary, where we find the following definition, quote, a passage from one state, stage, subject, or place to another, end quote. As we listen to the word transition, we hear embedded in it visions of movement, of journey, of crossing over, of change. Or in the words of the great U.S. representative from Texas, Barbara Jordan, in transitioning we find ourselves, quote, getting from there to here, end quote. Transitions are about endings and beginnings, about phases of life and work begun and completed, and about opportunities yet to be imagined. Whether a first year or transfer student, you began your Linfield journey there at Linfield College, and you found your way here to Linfield University. Not only have you made this journey, you have helped design the path from there to here. And you have assisted in imagining what Linfield University is and will be. When we think of a journey, we, some of us ask, what shall we take with us? What of Linfield College have you helped bring forward to Linfield University? I would argue that each of you packed bits of the heart and soul of Linfield College and its sense of community in your bags, that collectively you fashioned each of these elements back together with your special touches, and then you began the process of introducing them into Linfield University. And although they may look a bit different, they are regenerating in ways that honor the past and recognize the future that is becoming. You have unpacked the essential elements of your Linfield College experiences, reimagined them not only in terms of Linfield University today, but also in recognition of what a post-COVID world and Linfield University normal might mean. Your legacies are forever etched into the history of both Linfield College and Linfield University. And now you find yourselves in the beginning of yet another transition as you prepare to depart Linfield. This is a moment filled with changes that feel like and may well be endings. But what will you take with you? You have choices about what to pack, about what to leave behind. What will you take in your bag to ease the sadness of people and mementos left behind and to prepare for the exciting adventures to be discovered on the journey ahead? What opportunities await you in a world that often feels more menacing than welcoming? Before tackling some of these questions, let's explore the notion of opportunity. Various dictionaries defined opportunity as, quote, a situation or condition favorable for attainment of a goal, end quote. Opportunities signal potential transitions, more cycles of endings and beginnings. We think of opportunities as forward movement on our journeys, as opening newly discovered doors, of choosing paths that have just been cleared. Opportunities require active participation on our part and a willingness to enter into and navigate the gray. As cultural anthropologist Mary Catherine Bateson notes in her book, Peripheral Visions, quote, because it is not possible to stand aside from participation until we know what we are doing. It is essential to find styles of acting that accept ambiguity and allow for learning along the way. In other words, a willingness to embrace ambiguity and improvisation on our journeys opens possibilities for us to discern opportunities. Now let's return to the question of what to pack and strategies to employ for your journey from here to there, wherever there may be. 
In thinking about what might be helpful to you as you enter worlds beyond Linfield, it seemed likely that those who have preceded you would have insights to offer. In the following, I will share some wise words from some Linfield alumni who have taught me much and then close with a few final thoughts. So what might you include from Linfield in your journey bag? First, take along a few of your favorite books, printed books, not just electronic versions, so that you can feel their character in your hands. Books are treasured friends. You can engage with them time and time again, each time finding something new has been added to the conversation. Second, pack the patience and goodwill to listen to the ideas of others, even to those with whom you may disagree, for listening is the other half of communicating. Talking by itself does not constitute communicative interaction. This occurs when we actively engage in the exchange of diverse ideas. By listening to others, we often find the weaknesses in our own arguments as well as their strengths. And shifting our perspective, perhaps even compromising, does not mean we have abandoned our own center, our own ideas, our own integrity. Third, bring your Linfield friends with you. Of course, you can't literally pack them in your bag, but you can keep them close through whatever technology you choose, or perhaps even in person. They will continue to enrich your lives. Fourth, don't forget your voice. Use your voice for yourself and for the good of your families, your friends, your communities. In doing so, you will make positive contributions to our world. Fifth, find room for your critical thinking skills. You will find they are needed now more than ever. Sixth, include your curiosity and consult it often. Lifelong curiosity promotes lifelong learning. Stay attuned to the epiphanies, the aha moments along your journey. Seventh, place your ability to improvise in the face of ambiguity and a place where it can be easily found. You will need it often. Now that your bags are packed, what strategies might assist you as you navigate your journeys? Kirsten Finch Ganim, class of 1997, suggests you say yes to great opportunities, even if they're not exactly where you thought your life would take you. She notes, quote, I never imagined I would be a fundraiser. I've met Donna Brazile and Jane Goodall. I've coordinated events with Hillary Clinton and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. I've even held back screaming students as Stephen Hawking rolled past, like a Beatles concert. It all started by saying yes to amazing and totally unexpected opportunities. Daniel Roth, class of 2000, reminds you to remember your life is not your career. Develop friendships talents and skills outside of your workplace. To be happy, well-adjusted, and balanced, don't feel a need to monetize all the things that make you happy. Taylor Averett, class of 2011, offers the following strategy. Quote, in our society, there is a pressure to understand who you are and what you want to pursue by your commencement ceremony. This is an unfair expectation College does an amazing job in helping build character, establish core values, and learn how to self-manage accountability. But ultimately, it is a closed environment that is catered to the success of the student. The real world doesn't hold the same parameters, and because of this, there is much more to learn through experience. So go get experience and it will become apparent what calls to you and what does not. Amanda Lyles, class of 2020, urges you to, quote, find what makes you happy and pursue it, end quote. Jade Everidge, class of 28, states, quote, don't take life too seriously. Take the paths available to you and have fun doing it. Life after Linfield will not be easy or perfect. 
Treat your transition as a learning experience and let that carry you into opportunities that you seek. Aaron Carlson, class of 1989, urges you to use your networks. She states, I know very few people who have jobs they got from an ad. And thank your family and friends. Thank people who give you leads. Thank people who helped you get that diploma. And then thank every person you interview with. Faithfully follow up and it will carry you forward. And Lindsay Estep, class of 2012, observes that, quote, trying times can feel like it's a catastrophe, especially when you make a mistake when navigating post-grad life. I still remember my first mistake at work. I felt like it was the end of the world. But I learned so much from every mistake and hardship, and I wouldn't change it. The mistakes have helped make me a better advocate for myself and my community. In conclusion, here are a few final thoughts for your consideration. As you open new doors, remember to invite, perhaps even pull, push, or nudge someone else along with you, especially if that person has not experienced all of the opportunities and privileges you have. Stay connected with your faculty and staff mentors. We will continue to support you. Celebrate the weird. Periodically, find the time to watch a sunrise over a mountain or a sunset on the ocean and revel in the beauty and sheer joy of being alive that washes over you in those moments. And most importantly, believe in yourself. Again, congratulations to you, the Linfield University class of 2021. You are prepared and ready for new journeys. Go to it. It is my pleasure to introduce today's student speaker, Sean Wester. Sean came to Linfield from Salem, Oregon. He has truly made the most of his time here, serving as both a resident advisor in ASLU president. Sean majored in biochem and minored in math, and he plans to pursue med school with the goal of one day becoming a surgeon. I've had the pleasure of working closely with Sean this year, and I have been extremely impressed by him. His leadership has made a difference during some challenging times in Linfield's history. It is my honor to present Sean Webster. I would like to thank those who have allowed me this great opportunity to speak at the 2021 Spring Commencement, in addition to those who have supported me in my career thus far. I chose Linfield for the sole purpose of playing collegiate baseball. And for those who regularly interact with me, you might know that I haven't picked up a baseball bat in over two years. But that hasn't stopped me from making the most of my time at Linfield. Linfield is a place that has allowed its students to learn from their failures and to think critically across the multiple disciplines. And compared to other larger universities, the opportunities to immerse oneself into the college culture here have been second to none. none. The same this that I stepped on campus in the fall of my freshman year. I, mean, I was a I was an athlete, athlete, new member, member six different clubs, different cl signed to participate in multiple IMs. IM. And, and even had plans to join one of the fraternal fraternities on campus. Of course, of, that was all before class started, and I had no idea what I'd gotten myself into. But isn't it a wonderful thing when you have the chance to get yourself involved with so much that you have to start saying no to things in the first week of college? Or you completed your degree while juggling work and family obligations, and yet you embrace the many academic offerings Linfield provides. I hope you've taken advantage of the things Linfield has offered. Nonetheless, the class of 2021 has faced numerous adversities and has proven its determination, resilience, and perseverance in this difficult time. I would even go so far as to say that this class will come out stronger than any other class to graduate from Linfield. But so what? Why does that matter? That doesn't mean anything if we're not able to further our development every day from here on out. 
father once told me that your education is only the beginning of your learning. And for years, I struggled to comprehend that. I challenge each of you to reflect on that message. Sure, it may turn out that the Pythagorean theorem might not ever help you in your career, just as you hypothesized a few years back. But once you graduate from this university, your goals and the successes you build for yourself don't end here, whether they're personal, academic, or professional. And if you, and if you had gotten more out of your experience at Linfield than you did, that's okay. You've got a fresh start for the next chapter of your life. Now, I'm not saying that everything will be perfect. In reality, you may give up your baseball bat, as I did, but push yourself and search for other ways to excel. Make your opportunities, just as you have done at Linfield. Life may hit you hard, but if you're gonna take a hit, take it like a wildcat. Congratulations again to the class of 2021 and cheers to new beginnings. College of Arts and Sciences. Dane C. Affleck. Natalie D. Amara. Colin Holmes Anderson. Emma Ray Anderson. Dahlia Andrade Torres. Megan Elizabeth Angier. Rebecca Marie Arians. Juliet Raylene Arnswald. Connor Daniel Ashman. Natasha Catherine Bailey, magna cum laude. Alicia Zaujun Barlow. Isabel Rose Berger. Kyle Edward Bianchi. Caitlin Louise Blumenshine. Patricia Bocanegra Sanchez. Maxwell James Bonda, cum laude. Quinton Lee Bourget. Bronwyn M. Boyd. Jared Mark Brandon Flandy, cum laude. Lauren Brown. Kylie L. Bryan. Game William Berghart. Kristen Nicole Burke. Linus Beatriz Camara Hernandez. David A. Cano Luna. Dakota Lawson Carter. Destiny Castillo. Marla Irene Cazares. Colton James Cecchini. Delaney Grace Shofty. Henry Claxton. Daisy Diane Koblenz Hernandez. Zachary John Kokos. James Jaden Commendatory. Ray Ray Tyrone Crane. Hannah Jane Curry, cum laude. Ethan Britt Kerwin Aguirre. Travis Kai McFarlane de Lima. Sierra C. Dickinson. Tessa L. Dorfler, summa cum laude. Clementine Wallace Dorsey. Olivia Rose Edgington. Catherine Espiritu. Deanna K. Esman. Jordan Rose Feinauer. Alexandra Louise Milliorn Feller. 
Luke Jared Mafua Fia. Brooke Michelle Fisher Summa Cum Laude. Haley Foster Summa Cum Laude. Brian Allen Frey. Elizabeth Marie Fryer. Haley Sachiko Fujimori. Jennifer Ann Furrow. Susan Andrea Kennedy Fife. Melissa Elizabeth Garibay. Olivia Jean Gomez. Angelica Guadalupe Gomez Porta. Ana Gomez Palacios, Summa Cum Laude. Pedro Gratteral, Summa Cum Laude. Paul Anthony Gerzel. Melissa Gutierrez, Summa Cum Laude. Mackenzie I. Hall. Hugh Kelly Hammonds. Samuel Trueblood Hannigan. Isis D. Hatcher. Kai Herko, summa cum laude. Jenna R. Hessel. Patrick Sean Hillis. Kaylee Rose Holland, cum laude. Hannah Reed Hopkins. Abigail Marie Hoppy, magna cum laude. Levi K. Horner Villa. Zachary A. Howe, cum laude. Lily Holzman. Alexandra Sky Hunter, magna cum laude. Leilani Marie Hunter. Brian Viet Juan. Ashley Elena Ingalls. Emmeline Ruth Irvine, summa cum laude. Grant William Jackson. Nisa Nicole Veranazan Jensen, cum laude. Colleen Elizabeth Johnson, magna cum laude. Daniel Joseph Johnson. Hallie M. Johnson. Jeremy David Johnson. Clara Echo Jones. Matilda Kaler. Keu Ulani Rene Akaliko Kava'a. Maddie Ann Kelly. Janae Nicole Kessie, cum laude. Austin N. Kirkwood. Isabella Marie Cloa, magna cum laude. Kelsey Lauren Coons, cum laude. Alyssa Renee Langer. Syria Lerme. Jasmine Suia Lee. Mark Lehman. Jordan Joseph Lees. Mia Kaliani Leon Guerrero. Yensong Lu, cum laude. Shasta Lofgren. Eldon A. Long. Jessica Lopez. John Lutaya. Courtney Rachel Lyman. Riley Ann Maven. Emily Christine Markham. 
Stella Kananionanpua Mason, magna cum laude. Jamelin Kanani Niu Lan Mao. Darren Jamal McCoy Lewis. Angela Raquel McKelvey. Zela Medina Martinez. Zuyu Meng. Christopher Ryan Mentine. Owen Bruce Meyer. Nicholas Mifflin, magna cum laude. Jewel Elizabeth Miller, cum laude. Sierra Jane Miller, cum laude. Tyler Lloyd Miller. Faye Mairi Eves Mitchell. Patrick Masaaki Monis. Jocelyn Alondra Montez Garcia. Bianca Natalia Morales Starr. Connor Brenton Morris, magna cum laude. Alexis Rose Murphy. McKenna Christine Musser. Ethan Nathaniel Myers, magna cum laude. Matthew Kyle Nagy. Rebecca Leanne Nall. Diana Blanca Naranjo. Tessa R. Nelson. Alana Marie Nutman. Genevieve Aaron O'Brien. Elijah Allen O'Brien. Annalise Marie Ortwich Summa Cum Laude. Emma Irene Olson. Francesca Delia Ortiz. Cassidy Dawn Osborne. Lena Shailin Kau Iha Awanake Akua Panui. Antonio Peña Anaya. Peyton Jeffrey Person. Anita Nak Foma Cum Laude. Madison Ann Podnar, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Charles Post. Jake Thompson Prodzinski, Magna Cum Laude. Zoe Thora June Qualls Cum Laude. Guadalupe Ramirez Ramos. Colton T. Ramos. Keith G. Rasmussen. Elizabeth Hazel Maria Ryersgaard. Madison Rose Reimer. Maya Anastasia Renholt. Rhonda Shania Rickard. Grace Francis Riemann. Viridiana Bernice Rivera. Epifania Roldan Rayo. Abram S. Romero. Eliza Claire Rossman. Rosario Lizeth Rubikova Chavez. Natalie Sanchez. Robert Santos. Cassidy Catherine Schutz. Jonathan Daniel Seedy. Cassidy Kalina Sirion. Celeste Ananda Shearer. Zachary James Sherlock. Wilson L. Sherman Burton. 
Fiona C. Shields, summa cum laude. Kylie Jordan Simdorn, magna cum laude. Savannah Jane Simmons, magna cum laude. Joseph Evan Simpson, summa cum laude. Megan Ann Simpson Barnard. Cole Anthony Sippos. Kara Ann Skoken, summa cum laude. McKenna Lauren Slavinsky, magna cum laude. Madeline Rose Smith. Heoran Song. Courtney Kauilani Amico Spencer. Michaela Everdina Sponsel, magna cum laude. Ryan Edward Stanley. Andrew Starkle. Angeline Jane Elizabeth Stars. Nicole Lee Sturba. Lottie Ray Stewart Blanky, cum laude. Lauren Josiah Sturgill, cum laude. Hunter Phoenix Savek Orr, summa cum laude. Christina Emma May Swafford, summa cum laude. Travis John Swanson. Sarah M. Sweet. Austin Cade Thomas. Dylan Ryan Thomas. Maceo Thomas Murphy. Elizabeth Page Thompson, summa cum laude. Leah Autumn Thompson, summa cum laude. Caleb Anderson Torres. Andrew Townsend. Sergio D. Trevino. Niles A. Tui Halan Jinji. Clark J. Turley. Ayana Patricia Turner. Yulania Sinsin Perez. Benedict Christian Uliberi. Michelle Malia Uyeda. Gretel Valdez, summa cum laude. Griselda Vargas Ayala. Maria Vasquez Garibay. Cameron Justin Ventura, summa cum laude. Tani Maluhia Ventura. Jessica J. Weiss. Natalie M. Wade, cum laude. Derek M. Wagner. Anne Christine Walkup. Jirong Wan. Hannah Lynn Waterman, cum laude. Sean Edward Webster. Whitney Joyce Wells. Taylor Michelle White. Ben Caden Witt. Kelsey Marie Wilkinson. Stephanie Willis. Tony Terrell Winters Jr. Thomas Henderson Wool. Chandler May Young. Tiana Brianne Young, cum laude. Mara Chun Tao Youngren Brown. Riley Lane Zerngast. Jordan Ashley Zielsdorp. 
School of Business. Emma Ray Anderson. Connor Daniel Ashman. Griffin Robert Bashaw. Matthew Stephen Berger. Maxwell James Bonda. Cooper David Bosquet. Connor Francis Callanan. Jacob Andrew Kalo. Mandy Yvette Caporali. Michael Ryan Chop. Nicole K. Crenshaw. Michelle Jean Cutterford. Heather M. DeGrave. Casey Lane Marie Dodgen. Tanner M. Earhart. Lucy Georgia Ellis. Dayton Charles Farrow. Alyssa Ann Fuse. Isaiah Jacob Flores. Tiffany Floyd. Melissa Elizabeth Garibay. Madeline Glass, summa cum laude. Samuel David Gomez. Kendall Grace Harrison, cum laude. August John Harder. Kahili S. Helm. Madison Hicks. Zach Jenkins. Daniel Joseph Johnson. Ethan William Jones. Madeline Hollister Jura. April Lee Kelsey, cum laude. Ryan Dean Kister. Henry Kaimana Kupihea. Eldon A. Long. John Lutaya. Christina Major. Michael Mannion. Luke Marks. Callan Grady McRae. Pablo Mendoza. Jason R. Wynn Benitez. Clifton K. Oliver. Samuel David Paris. Cezana V. Penarihu. Cameron M. Perrin. Peyton Jeffrey Person. Graciela Quinto Alfaro. Benjamin Michael Ranieri. Anna Reinberg. Amanda L. Reeser, summa cum laude. Cameron Jamie Reuter. Caitlin Elizabeth Rice. Cassidy Jordan Robinson. Dempsey Schultz Rogenbuck. Emily Nicole Samudio. Brianna Rose Sanford. Anthony Shaw. Shahaley Jean Eilers Scheller, cum laude.
Ashley Rose Sellers. Leah Sophia Schaefer Tropiano Cum Laude. Tyler William Sitton. Bailey Rose Snarek. Shakela Nicole Snyder. Andrew Starkle. Cody James Stevenson. Jake Paul Stoffel. Shannon Marie Stoller. Delaney Lena Strauss. Sarah M. Sweet. Colby N. Tamayo. Andre Richard Truocolo. Renee Marie Tuft. Portia Taga. Rachel B. Unruh. Tanner Van de Kuverain. Chase Michael Whitaker. Fletcher E. S. Wilkin. Keaton Cooper Wood. Janice G. Vang. Chiaki Yoshikawa. Michelle D. Young. We've come to that part of the program where it says that we're closed commencement. And so yes, I can tell you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, the staff, and your other students, we wish you the very best. However, this closing is just the beginning because now you transition into being alumni. We look forward to future engagement with you as you continue to come back for homecomings, for theater productions, for athletic events, or just to stop on campus. So while we close the commencement program, we welcome you to a new world as an alumni of Linfield University.